you've noticed that your rabbit's head is tilted, it's critical that you act fast. Head tilt in some cases can prove fatal if the proper medical attention is not received in time. Aside from being incredibly painful, head tilt can cause your rabbit to be very limited. Simple tasks such as eating, drinking, and grooming can become virtually impossible. In this material, we will discuss the origins of head tilt, what it is, what causes it, and the importance of proper treatment and prevention. We hope you enjoy this video and find it helpful and informative. Head tilt is more or less as it appears in terms of the visual aspect. If your rabbit's head is tilted to one side or tilted upwards, this is head tilt. The issue can range from mild to severe, from just a slight tilt to a very contorted neck. Because rabbits are very sensitive animals, an issue such as head tilt can cause them great alarm, thus making them very difficult to comfort during their time of need. This is especially true if head tilt has made it difficult to eat, drink, and groom. While some rabbits with head tilt can function normally, this visual should never be ignored. Without treatment, the problem can get worse. Now that we know what to look for, let's take a closer look at the core root causes. It must first be noted that head tilt is a symptom, not a disease. This is why getting to the principal cause is essential. The most common causes of head tilt are as follows. Parasitic infections, bacterial infections, muscle spasms, cardiovascular disease, tumor, and finally, physical trauma to the head and or neck. Because some of these primary causes are more prevalent than others, let's take a closer look at a few in greater detail. One of the most common causes of head tilt is encephalitosinosis. This condition is caused by the econiculi parasite, which can invade a rabbit's cells and enter the central nervous system, the eyes, and your rabbit's kidneys. Although it can take several weeks or months for this type of infection to promote head tilt, being mindful of early warning signs is important as it can lead to proper diagnosis and treatment. A few hallmark symptoms can include tripping, the dragging of feet, and the act of swaying or walking in circles. If you've noticed that your rabbit seems a bit clumsy, this could be due to a parasite and subsequent infection. This is why early treatment is so important. An early diagnosis can potentially prevent severe head tilt and also serve to halt issues such as eye disease, kidney disease, heart disease, and lung disease. These ailments, most notably the initial three, are often the byproduct of advanced encephalitosinosis. The tiny parasite known as E. caniculi is found in both the urine and feces of other animals. If rabbits touch it or even breathe in the spores, they can become infected. Some environments carry greater risk factors than others. For this reason, some problematic environmental settings can include your seemingly healthy rabbit living with an infected rabbit. While this would seem like a no-brainer, rabbits can carry E. caniculi for years without showing symptoms. This is why it's so important to have your rabbits screened for E. caniculi as soon as you adopt them. The next concerning factor is that of a cramped living space. Rabbits are more likely to come in contact with feces and urine if their living area is fairly small. Another negative factor involves the lack of sanitary conditions. Similar to a cramped living space, a dirty living environment only increases the odds of parasites. Multiple enclosures and multiple breeding houses can also introduce a problem. The more rabbits you own, the more significant issues can arise if you're not on top of things in a positive way from a general housing and sanitation standpoint. One of the more obvious and dangerous aspects involves your rabbit coming in direct contact with a wild rabbit or rodent. While E. caniculi is obviously a major concern, such contact can not only result in disease and infection, but also potential injury. And finally, the last core risk factor of concern involves the general health and stress level of your rabbit. It's vital to note that rabbits are extremely sensitive, both emotionally and mentally. Anything that can weaken your rabbit's immune system could allow a possible E. caniculi infection to aid in the triggering of this disease. 
it's vitally important to keep your rabbits healthy in every facet of life. In conclusion, although a bit rare, it should also be noted that some rabbits can acquire E. caniculi during birth. The disease can be passed from mother to newborn. Dwarf rabbits are most at risk. Although E. caniculi is the most common parasitic infection, there are several others to be mindful of that can cause head tilt. These particular parasites can come from pets, wild animals, and insects. The first issue of concern is the parasitic disease known as cuterebriasis, emerging from a species of fly known as the cutebra. Cuterebriasis can lead to severe head tilt and even death. Cuterebriasis occurs when the fly in question lands on a rabbit's fur and produces eggs on their skin. The eggs then enter the rabbit's central nervous system. The next form of parasitic infection is known as taxoplasmosis. Although more commonly seen in cats, rabbits can fall victim to this infection. Rabbits acquire this parasite from the urine and feces of cats. This parasite causes head tilt and overall imbalance. While extremely rare, taxoplasmosis can spread to humans. Our next parasite of discussion is that of ear mites. Excessive shaking of the head, scratching, and grunting are some of the earliest symptoms of infection. Our final parasitic infection of discussion is Balesis caris. This is a type of roundworm which resides in the intestines of skunks and raccoons. When rabbits are allowed to roam free in the outdoors, they can come in contact with this parasite. Early detection of this parasitic infection is critical, as once the eggs of the roundworm enter a rabbit's central nervous system, death is all but certain. Often starting in a rabbit's nose or throat, bacterial infections can also cause head tilt. Making it difficult to breathe, rabbits will often tilt their heads as a way to breathe with less obstruction. Symptoms of a bacterial infection can include coughing, sneezing, and wheezing, slow or rapid breathing, cloudy or milky discharge from the eyes and or the nose, lack of appetite, lethargy, and lastly, flaring or inflamed nostrils. While most bacterial infections are not too serious in the big picture, infections that are not treated properly can grow worse and spread. Infections can travel from the nasal passages to the inner ears. And speaking of inner ear infections, they are one of the most common overall causes of head tilt in rabbits. As briefly noted in our previous section, the infection often originates in the nose and then advances to the inner ears. In most cases, by the time the infection has reached the inner ears, the ailment is quite significant. Rabbits with inner ear infections often refuse food and water. This can lead to significant weight loss and gastrointestinal issues, which is a medical emergency in itself. Ear infections are often caused by specific types of bacteria, the most common being that of Pastorella multicida. If your rabbit's head tilt is due to either a bacterial or parasitic infection, then yes, there is a health risk to others. This is especially true if you have other animals in your home, such as dogs or cats. While infection spreading from your rabbit to you is a bit rare, it can happen. Individuals with extremely weakened immune systems can potentially fall victim. Of course, it should be noted that head tilt is not always caused by bacterial or parasitic infections. We will address those concerns momentarily, so please stay tuned. Although muscle spasms can be a sign of a serious infection, muscle spasms can also come about from overstimulation. When this occurs, your rabbit's neck can stiffen. This can result in temporary head tilt. In most cases, this form of head tilt will only last for a couple of minutes. However, if your rabbit's head tilt issue seems to come and go, or your rabbit's neck and head becomes more pronouncedly crooked for a long period of time, you should seek medical attention for your pet as soon as possible. It's important to not only receive a proper diagnosis, but also eliminate some potential causes. Another cause of head tilt is heart disease. A bit different than other forms of head tilt, heart disease can cause rabbits to tilt their head back. It is thought that this posture is due to breathing, 
the backward tilt can provide some form of relief. Of course, with heart disease, it's vital to have this core issue addressed specifically. This can be a bit tricky at first because the posturing can easily be confused with head tilt that is due to a bacterial or parasitic infection. When in doubt, look for bulging eyes. This is often a hallmark symptom that will distinguish itself from other known causes of head tilt. Another issue of concern is stroke. Another form of cardiovascular disease, stroke can cause head tilt in addition to the following notable symptoms. Facial weakness or drooping on one side of the face, side to side eye movements, circling, which is essentially your rabbit walking in circles, tremors, paralysis, particularly in the hind legs. While each and every one of these issues can pose a serious threat to your rabbit's general health, the potential positive surrounding stroke is that the symptoms are quite distinctive and are not easily confused with other issues that can promote head tilt. Variations of head tilt can be caused by direct trauma to your rabbit's head. If your pet runs into an object or even another rabbit, almost any form of direct trauma has the potential to cause an issue. Because rabbits are very erratic in their movement at times, it's not uncommon for a rabbit of almost any age to sustain a bump to the head. As has been noted a few times in this material, from a visual standpoint, almost all forms of head tilt look the same unless it's accompanied by some rather distinct symptoms, such as the case with stroke. If you're concerned that the root cause could be something extremely serious, please check with your vet. If head trauma does happen to be the root cause, then a prescribed pain reliever will be administered. If your rabbit has a defined head bend or neck tilt, it could be due to a lump. Tumors of the face, back, and neck can produce significant weight that can cause your rabbit's head and neck to shift to one side. In respect to the tumor itself, the mass could contain water, blood, or it could be cancerous. Although cancer is very rare in rabbits, it's important to be proactive. Regardless of the final diagnosis, head tilt of any variety can cause your rabbit a great deal of discomfort and make eating, drinking, and other basic tasks very difficult, as we've noted. Early diagnosis is critical. As we've mentioned several times throughout this video, early detection and a proper diagnosis is important, but how exactly is head tilt treated once a root cause is confirmed? Although your vet will likely have a bit of investigative work to do just to make sure that their diagnosis is indeed 100% accurate, the treatment methods typically originate from a core group of remedies that are available. The first treatment involves medication. An infection, for example, will be treated with antibiotics. The exact medication will depend on the infection itself. The next form of treatment involves fluid therapy in the form of an injection. If head tilt has made it difficult to drink, then fluid therapy can be beneficial in respect to making sure that one of your rabbit's most critical needs is met. Similar to fluid therapy, nutritional therapy can be used if your rabbit's neck ailment has made it difficult to eat. Once again, this form of therapy is essential if critical needs are not being met. The next treatment available is physical therapy. Gentle back and neck massages can work wonders if the root cause of head tilt is related to a muscle issue. Professional treatments of this nature can help to soothe your rabbit and eliminate discomfort. Keeping in line with the aforementioned medications, Pain medicine and anti-inflammatory agents can also be used in some cases. If your rabbit's head tilt is caused by muscle spasms or a form of minor head trauma, medications to eliminate swelling and discomfort can be administered. The final source of treatment is surgery. Although extremely rare, surgery is used to eliminate head tilt that is not caused by a bacterial or parasitic infection. In respect to aftercare, once your rabbit's condition and root ailment has officially been diagnosed and treatment has been administered, you will need to make sure your pet's core needs are being met. This includes keeping your rabbit warm and sheltered indoors. 72 degrees is ideal 
as it's important to keep your rabbit warm while also avoiding any type of overheating. The next aftercare tip involves cleanliness. If your rabbit is medicated and still feeling the lingering effects of head tilt, the job will fall on you to make sure that your pet is properly groomed. A simple wipe down with a damp cloth and the drying qualities of a microfiber towel will do the trick. Cotton wool with warm water is also a positive way to clean your bunny's eyes. Our final aftercare tip involves food and drink. Not only helping your rabbit to consume, but making sure what they do consume is fresh and healthy. Herbs and greens are positive selections. Contact your vet if your rabbit is having significant trouble in this department. The use of a syringe could potentially be needed if your rabbit is unable to consume food or drink fresh water. Because the root cause of head tilt can be life-threatening in some cases, the most paramount aspect of all involves prevention. We've laid out several positive tips that can potentially help you as an owner to shield your rabbit from various harmful ailments and enhance your pet's overall standard of living. Our first tip involves early screening. As noted earlier in this video, once you adopt a rabbit, have it screened for bacterial and parasitic infections. The next preventative measure deals with positive housing. Make sure that your rabbit's hutch is spacious enough to properly hold all the rabbits you have. Make sure there is no congestion. Tip number three involves cleanliness. As an owner, it's critical that you keep your rabbit's hutch as clean as possible. This can be achieved by being proactive. This can help to prevent infections. Our next positive tip involves checking your rabbit's fur on a routine basis. Make sure everything checks out. If you notice an issue, act accordingly. The next piece of advice deals with protection. Keep your rabbit away from wild animals. This includes wild rabbits. Rabbits can not only be killed by predators, but also fall victim to various types of bacterial and parasitic diseases. Speaking on a similar subject, our next tip involves limiting your rabbit's contact with your animals. If you have dogs and cats, keep your rabbit away from them as much as possible just in case your canine or feline happens to be sick. On a related note, making sure that your dogs and cats receive regular flea treatment is paramount. Making sure that urine and feces from other animals is disposed of properly is also vitally important. And finally, our final tip involves checking your rabbit daily for signs of illness. While it's unwise to be an alarmist and constantly expecting the worst, just keep an eye out for your rabbit and conduct a daily health check. Stay on top of things. Things are rather unlikely to fly under the radar if you are monitoring your bunny's health on a routine basis. And if something does come up, your proactive nature will likely pay off in the form of extremely early detection and subsequent treatment. Head tilt isn't an overnight occurrence. That's why it's essential to catch any signs of ill health as early as possible. And with that tip of proactive advice, that will conclude things for this video. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see material of a similar nature, we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Whether you're watching us now from rabbitcaretips.com or directly from our YouTube platform, please hit that subscribe button and join the journey. We produce fresh and informative content on a routine basis. Question time. Has your rabbit or rabbits ever dealt with head tilt? If so, what was the cause, the treatment, and how did everything turn out? If you have a story to share concerning your rabbit and head tilt, please share in the comments section below. What you have to offer could potentially help other rabbit owners who are currently in the midst of this issue, especially novice owners who are possibly turning to other rabbit owners for guidance. Strength in numbers is always helpful, so if you have something positive to share, please drop me a line. Until our paths cross again, we thank you so much for watching. We wish you all the best as you travel the road of rabbit ownership, and we hope you have a wonderful day.